this scripture today, who is this? Read them. When we think about the word who, right. that means something is unknown or unfamiliar right. and needs some explanation. Come on, y'all help me a little bit. It, it needs some explanation. It, it means what's going on? And who is this individual? Who is this person? What are they about? Come on, y'all help me, won't you? And I'm afraid today there are many of you who are here in this sanctuary today that do not know who Jesus is. If you knew him, if you knew him, you wouldn't make a noise. That crowd that followed Jesus, that crowd that followed him, amen, into Jerusalem when he rode into Jerusalem for the last time while dwelling here in this sinful world. Amen. We read here where he rode in on a donkey. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, in the Spanish, they call a donkey a burro. Burro. Uh, uh, el burro, the, the donkey. That's in Spanish. A amen. So I better say burro. <laughs> uh, not that. A a amen, but the bull rode. He rode in, amen. The first time that we have known, Jesus had been to Jerusalem for many times. But this time, why would he ride into Jerusalem on a donkey? A a amen, he had been going into Jerusalem many times. At the Passover and, and, and many other uh, 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 situations that he had gone into Jerusalem for. But this time, he rode in. On the ass coat. Right. Amen. On a donkey. Yeah, right. It was a reason why he rode in on this donkey. Right. Amen. He, he came in to this world as a little baby. Yeah, right. Amen. Born in a little town called Bethlehem of Judea. Yeah, right. About five or six miles out from Jerusalem yeah, right. is where he was born. Amen. And, 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 and after being, he had been to Jerusalem on many occasions, but this occasion, yes. amen, was different from all other occasions. He had taken time out to explain to his disciples as to what was uh, going on and that he was going into Jerusalem for the last time. He said uh, the Son of Man is going to be betrayed into the hand of sinners. And, and they're going to do whatever they want with him. The Bible says, and, and, uh, when he rode into Jerusalem, they asked the question, who is this? The whole city was in turmoil. Yeah. Amen. Because they had never heard such noise before. Right. And, and they wanted to know what is going on. Amen. Why is all this noise? Wow. Amen. What, what, I think we ought to make a noise that somebody want to know what's going on in Elbeth. Hello, somebody. Amen. I, it's too quiet in El Bethel for me. Amen. Nobody don't know what's going on in El Bethel. Amen. You're sitting like you're in a theater. This is not a theater. This is a house of worship where people give praise to God, where you lift your voices and sing to, and praise God, give him praise and adoration. Not a place where you sit and stare. It's not a place of uh, uh, solitary. It, it, it's not a place where you just sit and stand and be quiet. In a library, they just sit and be quiet, be quiet. In a library. But this is not a place where you have to be quiet. But to make a noise for Jesus because you come here to give him praise and adoration. You come here because he is God. And he's worthy. To be praised. How I many y'all believe he was? A, hey Amen. When, when, when you, whenever you do something nice for a person, an individual, and, and you, you want them to say thank you, I sure appreciate it. You, you want them to show you some. I don't care if it's mama, dad, sister, brother, friend, a friend, a loved one, chicken, a dog, chicken, a child. <laughs> you, you want them to show some kind of appreciation. I want to say thank you. When you give somebody something, they look at you. They take it. 
You don't want to hear from me anymore. Huh? What do you think about God? He's given you the best that he had. Amen. He, he expects from you to give him praise. Amen. In the eight number song. In the eight number, how many of y'all know about the eight number song? The eight number song. You got your Bible? My mother said, I got a Bible to read. And if I don't read and my soul be lost, it's nobody's fault but mine. Y'all can't blame Reverend Monroe for going to hell. A amen. <laughs> A amen. I heard somebody say, can't nobody make you go to hell but you yourself. Hello, somebody. In the eighth number Psalm, it says, Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens, and out of the mouth of babes and suckling hath thou ordained strength because of thine enemy that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heaven, the wakes of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visit him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and have crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made him to have dominion over the wakes of thy hand, and thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep, oxen, yea, the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of Except Therefore, because he's so excellent, you need to give him praise. I read somewhere, it said, give him, the song said, give him the what? The highest praise. The choir sang that song, give him the highest praise. Amen. When you come in here, you ought to give God the best praise that you can up. Because he was of your praise. When, when he rode into Jerusalem the last time, those that were following him and those that were in front of him were praising him. So much and so until the whole city came out. The whole city came out. And they asked a question. After hearing such a great noise, they asked a question, who is this? Something strange is going on. We never heard a noise like this noise before. It's something is happening, and we want to know what is going on. And the answer came back, Jesus. The mother too said, this is Jesus. How many of you all know Jesus? That this is Jesus of Nazareth, the prophet, rather, of Nazareth, of Nazareth of Galilee. This is he. Amen. They, they, after all that Jesus had already done in Jerusalem, they didn't know who he was. If you read your Bible, thank you, son. If you read your Bible, amen, he had healed that sick in Jerusalem. He had cleaned that leprosy in Jerusalem. Am I right about it? He even had raised the dead. He healed all, the Bible said, all manner of sickness. But yet they didn't know who he was. It's a shame some of you in here don't know him. And he had been waking you up every morning. Not just one morning, but he's been waking you up every morning. It's a shame that you don't know him. If I were you, Amen. If I were you, I would say, Lord, forgive me for not knowing who you are. I realize you brought me from a mighty long way, but I don't know you. Yeah. When I got up this morning, I'm talking about those that don't know him. 